हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू वंस अगेन माई सेल्फ जतिन दबे फ्रॉम आसापुरा स्कूल एंड वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू एक्सरसाइज थर्टीन पॉइंट वन एंड दिस इज द पार्ट टू सोल्यूशन ऑफ द एक्सरसाइज थर्टीन पॉइंट वन फ्रॉम द लेसन थर्टीन नंबर डायरेक्ट एंड इनवर्स प्रपोर्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स से हमें आगे कंटिन्यू करना है इस वीडियो में और ये रहा क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स आपके स्क्रीन पर In a model of a ship, the mast is नाइन सेंटीमीटर हाई वाइल द मास्ट ऑफ द एक्चुअल शिप इज ट्वेल्व मीटर हाई इफ द लेंथ ऑफ द शिप इज ट्वेंटी एट मीटर हाउ लॉन्ग इज द मॉडल शिप येट द लेंथ ऑफ द मास्ट ऑफ द मॉडल शिप बी एक्स मीटर एंड गिवन इंफॉर्मेशन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द टेबल इज एज फॉलोस फर्स्ट कॉलम शोज द मॉडल शिप एंड एक्चुअल शिप kinds of ship that means second column shows the height of the mast 9 cm model ship and 12 cm and 12 meter is the actual ship length of the ship hame find out karni hai model ship ke liye aur actual ship ke liye bhi hai 28 meter we know that the dimension of the actual ship and the model ship are directly proportional to the each other and therefore we obtain 12 by 9 equal to 28 by x therefore x is equal to 28 multiply 9 by 12 equal to 21 thus the length of the model ship is 21 cm next question now is on your screen suppose 2 kg of sugar contain 9 multiply by 10 to 6 crystals How many sugar crystals are there in five kg of sugar and one point two kg of sugar respectively? सबसे पहले let the number of sugar crystals in five kg of sugar be x. The given information in the form of the table is as follows: amount of sugar in kilogram two and number of crystals is nine multiplied by ten raised to six. Amount of sugar five kg. and we find out we want to find out the number of crystal b x the amount of sugar and the number of crystals it contains are directly proportional to the each other and therefore we obtain 2 divided 9 multiply by 10 to 6 equal to 5 by x therefore x is equal to 5 multiply 9 multiply 10 to 6 divided by 2 And therefore, two point twenty-five into ten is two seven. Hence, the number of sugar crystals is two multiply twenty-five into ten is to seven. Second case, let the number of sugar crystal in one point two kg of sugar be y. The given information in the forms of the table as follows: amount of sugar in kg two kg. And number of crystals present in that is nine multiplied by ten raised to six. If the amount of sugar in kg is one point two, then uh, we can find out the we want to find out the number of crystal y. Now, two divided by nine multiplied by ten raised to six equal to one point two divided y. So therefore, y is equal to one point two multiplied nine multiplied ten raised to six by two. And we get five point four into ten raised to six. Hence, the number of sugar crystal is five point four into ten raised to six. Now, one more question is your on screen. Rashmi has a road map with the scale of one centimeter, respectively eighteen kilometers. She derives on the road for seventy two kilometers. What would be her distance covered in the map sabse pehle let the distance required represented let the distance represented on the map be x meter x centimeter and the given information in the form of the table is as follows the distance cover on the road in kilometer 18 kilometer that means distance represent on the map in a centimeter is 1 Now, if the distance covered on road in a, in a kilometer is seventy two, 
then we want to know the distance represent on a map in centimeter bx the distance cover on a road and represent on a map are directly proportional to each other and therefore we obtain 18 by 1 equal to 72 by x by using the cross multiplication x is equal to 72 multiply 1 by 18 and we know that 18 for the 72 so therefore x is equal to 4 hence the distance represented on the map is 4 centimeter now question number 9 is on your screen a 5 meter 60 centimeter high vertical pole cast a shadow 3 meter 20 centimeter long find at the same time one the length of the shadow cast by the another pole 10 meter and 50 centimeter high and second the height of a pole which cast a shadow 5 meter long सबसे पहले केस की डिस्कस करेंगे लेट द लेंथ ऑफ द शेडो ऑफ द अदर पोल बी एक्स मीटर हियर वन मीटर इक्वल टू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर द गिवन इंफॉर्मेशन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द टेबल इज एज फॉलोज दैर फॉर द हाइट ऑफ द पोल इन मीटर इज फाइव हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी फाइव पॉइंट सॉरी फाइव पॉइंट सिक्सटी मीटर टू रिस्पेक्टिवली लेंथ ऑफ द शेडो इन मीटर इज now if the height of the pole in meter is 10.50 then we want to find out the length of the shadow in meter bx so more the height of object more more will be the length of its shadow thus the height of an object and length of its shadow are directly proportional to each other and therefore we obtain 5.60 divided by 3.20 equal to 10.50 by x Therefore, x is equal to 10.50 multiply 3.20 divided 5.60 equal to 6. Hence, the length of the shadow will be 6 meter. Now, second case. Let the height of the pole be y meter and the given information in the form of the table is as follows. The height of the pole in meter is 5.60 meter to respectively length of the shadow in meter is 3.20. If height of the pole in meter is y with respect the length of the shadow in meter is 5 meter so here the height of the pole and the length of the shadow are directly proportional to each other and therefore 5.60 divided by 3.20 equal to y by y therefore y is equal to 5 multiply 5.60 divided by 3.20 is equal to 8.75 Thus, the height of the pole is 8.75 meter or 8 meter 75 centimeter. A core question sapke screen par. Question number 10. A loaded truck travel 14 kilometer in 25 minutes. If the speed remains in the same, how far can it travel in 5 hours? Let the distance traveled by the truck in 5 hours be x kilometer. And we know that 1 hour equal to 60 minutes. Therefore, 5 hours, that means 5 multiplied by 60 minutes, equal to 300 minutes. So, the given information in the form of the table is as follows. Distance travel in kilometer is 14. Time taken in minute is 25. If the distance travel in kilometer is x kilometer, and, require, and the required time is in a minute 300. The distance traveled by the truck and the time taken by the truck are directly proportional to each other and therefore here 14 by 25 is equal to x by 300. Therefore x is equal to 14 multiply 300 by 25 and therefore we get 168. Hence, the distance traveled by the truck is 168 kilometer. So, dear students, ये था हमारा आखरी questions exercise 13.1 को लेकर. इस वीडियो और इसके के आगे previous वीडियो के माध्यम से दो पार्ट में हमने exercise 13.1 के 
पूरे सॉल्यूशन आपके सामने रखे इस उम्मीद के साथ आपने ये सारे सॉल्यूशन देखे सुने और समझे होंगे और अच्छी तरह आपने होमवर्क में फिर से एक बार इसकी प्रैक्टिस की होगी इस उम्मीद के साथ आपका धन्यवाद करते हुए थैंक यू वेरी मच बाय बाय